Welcome back. We have reached the most exciting time of the year in high school football. The playoffs begin this week in South Dakota, and they've already begun for some teams in North Dakota. Jody and Jandy are ready to get you set up for the biggest matchups. And we'll start in North Dakota with Jody, who has some special guests with him to discuss the playoff brackets in Class A and 9-man. Jody? Thanks, Kelly. It's my pleasure to be joined by 740 The Fans, Brad Anderson and Chase Miller. Both of these guys have called several games this season on the radio and followed prep sports very closely for years. Let's start in Class A, guys. The bracket was revealed on Saturday. Hillsborough Central Valley earned the number one overall seed based on its QRF rating for its region. Velva earned the two seed, Langdon, Edmore, Munich, the three, Dickinson, Trinity at the four spot. Brad, I'll start with you. Mm -hmm. Who do you see as the favorites to reach the Dakota Bowl in Class A? Uh, I would say Hillsborough Central Valley on the top half of the bracket. They've been so impressive uh, throughout the year, Jody, that I think that win over EEK really cemented it, but they've just kind of steamrolled everybody in their path. Uh, I know you've been big on Langdon Area Munich, uh, you know, on that bottom half of the bracket. I'm a little bit surprised they got that number three seed, but they've been, you know, Delvo at quarterback and Peebles and Economy. I mean, those are guys that, that have put up some big numbers. They were one step shy of going to the Dakota Bowl last year, and I think that's that's got to be a big motivating factor for them. Yeah, they had that loss to EEK. Chase, what do you think about Class A? It's hard not to go against, you know, Hillsborough Central Valley. Oscar Benson is a great outside linebacker who will take Skager's role in the next couple of years for yeah. a running back position. And, and the thing that Hillsborough Central Valley does, their front seven defensively, they don't allow you to get to the second level. And offensively, I don't know if I've seen a better offensive line in Class A. So we'll see what they can do there. Don't overlook Velva. Their defense is stout. Maybe they play in a weaker region than maybe a Hillsborough Central Valley or EEK team, but the Aggies are definitely got a lot of tradition in high school football. Yeah, and they gave up 13 points last week, which matched their whole season total <laughs> for defense. So Valva knows how to play defense, but I think you do mention the caliber of opponents. They weren't playing in a Region 1. They weren't doing it against those teams. Region 1 is pretty tough, so that's going to be interesting uh, to see. Let's make some game predictions. That's what, that's what you're here for, right? Uh, that's what I was told, anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do two in Class A, two and nine, man. We start with Class A and a couple of pretty good matchups. Langdon Edmore Munich hosts last year's Class 2A runner-up Kindred. Brad, do the Vikings have a shot against the unbeaten Cardinals? Who are you picking? Chase made a real good point about how they played that gauntlet those yeah. first three games, and they won four out of five, and they're playing better. I just don't know if they've got the firepower to get against Langdon Edmore Munich. I think, uh, I think Langdon wins it. Yeah, and I'm going to go with Langdon, too. I think the Kindred Vikings, they need to do what they did. Um, you know, play early with the lead. Fargo Oak Grove played with the lead against Hillsborough Central Valley, and they couldn't have scripted any better. You go on the road, which is about a three-hour trip for Kindred to go up to Langdon. You're going to be playing on a Saturday afternoon. I think Langdon's going to win this game, but closer than the experts think. Well, you remember, last year it was a miracle <laughs> that Kindred made the, the state championship game. The unbelievable finish, the Hail Mary against uh, Shanley to put them in. And that was Class 2A. Now they're down to Class A. But I agree with you guys. I, I just think it's going to be tough. Kindred mm -hmm. battle-tested at the beginning of the year. But I think Langdon Edmore Munich uh, uh, wins this one. Another team from Region 2, Carrington. Uh, their only loss was to uh, Langdon Edmore Munich. Host Oak Grove. This one could be interesting, guys. Chase? Who are you picking? You know, if Ben Holgarth can get going, look out. And the other thing is Caleb Card's not going to be asked to throw the football 10 or 15 times in a football game. But if he can connect four or five times on play action, that'll really get the Grover offense going. My question is, how banged up are they going to be after playing Hillsborough Central Valley yeah, last game? They got a point. couple guys that are nicked up. I think Carrington wins this one, but this might be the best Class A game in terms of the first round, I think. If you're going to Carrington, if you're going to watch a good football game, I think there's going to be a lot of ground and pound teams. Neither team likes to throw the football that much, but I think Carrington gets the win. Brett? I just think Carrington's a little bit deeper. You know, Oak Grove has kind of been, you know, Card's done a nice mm -hmm. job at quarterback, but it's really been as whole Garth goes, so go the Grovers. And I think Carrington kind of got through, you know, say they had the real challenging game against Langdon and they fell a little short, but I just think they're probably a little, a little bit deeper and I think they win probably about a seven to ten point deficit. So. I'm going to say Oak Grove. Uh, someone has to be. The, <laughs> someone has to flip this thing, right? Ben Hogarth has been playing well. They're a very physical team. They can beat you up front. They have some physical offensive linemen. I think they get the job done on the road. Let's talk some nine man. The big showdown that everyone will have their eyes on. Thompson Cavalier. Who wins it and why? I think Cavalier wins it. It's going to be close. I think it'll be very similar, probably a touchdown or less. I think home field's a big factor, and I think they can. Uh, I think they can maybe win the battle up front. I think they can be able to, you know, probably win the physicality battle, so to speak. I'm going to go Thompson this one. I think Thompson, they're used to playing up at Cavalier. They're used to playing each other in Region 2. I think they have a little revenge factor after losing in the first game. I like the revenge factor. <laughs> I just, I don't think it's going to happen. I think with Austin Erlov back in the mix, he got hurt. Remember, 
in that Thompson game, but when he was on the field for, for Cavalier, Thompson didn't have much of an answer defensively. I, I just I don't see them uh, being able to get it done, but I agree with Brad. I think it's going to be a close game. I think it might be a 7-10 to 10 point deficit uh, that Thompson has at the end of this one. I think Cavalier advances. Our other nine-man pick him has Hankinson, who put up 70 points last week, <laughs> 70, and they're traveling to Region 3 champ Napoleon Gackle Streeter. Who advances, Chase? You know, Hankinson's got a savvy quarterback in Mason Falk. Don't forget the Hankinson Pirates last year went out to Shiloh in a game that they easily could have won in the quarterfinals. Right. So they got some guys back from last year's team. How good is Region 3? Because, again, Napoleon's the last team, Gackle Street, the last team out of that region. Brad and I were talking before this. It wouldn't shock us if Hankinson wins, but I think Hankinson just comes up a player too short. I'm going to go Napoleon Gackle Streeter. Right. I'm going to take Hankinson in this one. I think Region 1, the depth of Region 1, I think is a big factor in this. Um, and they're healthy again. Mason Falk was a little dinged up earlier in the year. He had to leave the uh, Winder Lidgerwood game about midway through that game. They kind of match up very well with Napoleon Gackle Streeter. That game could be that game could be quick. If they grow ground and pound like that, that might be done in about an hour 40. <laughs> That's a radio guy and TV guy's dream. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to go with you. You just convinced me. I was kind of 50-50. Gosh, which one am I going to take? I think I'll go with Hankinson in the upset special over the Imperials. So thanks, guys. Appreciate the time and look forward to doing this uh, for the next couple of weeks until we reach the Dakota Bowl. Yeah, thank you much. Thanks, Jody. All right. Thanks, Kelly. Uh, back to you. All right, good stuff. Thanks, guys. Coming up after the break, more special guests in studio, this time in South Dakota for high school pick'ems. You don't want to miss this. We'll be right back.